What's going on you beautiful people and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another awesome recipe for you. It's going to be using my favourite tool in the kitchen. We've got the slow cooker. It's back for another episode. And we're going to be making a turkey and rice crock pot. You know what to do as well. Hit that thumbs up. You know to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You won't miss another video then. And that will just be great for me. So please do it. And also... What's your favorite recipes? Let me know, put them in the flipping comment section and then I'll get to making some of them for you. Another super easy one, and this is all the ingredients you're going to need for it. We've got 600 grams of turkey breast here. Then we're going to have one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of mixed herbs. We've got six rashers of turkey bacon, some garlic because garlic goes well in everything. We're going to use 500 ml of chicken stock. We've got about 100 grams of celery here, 100 grams of carrots and one onion. I'm using a red one just because I prefer the taste of a red onion. But you can use a white one if you want. And the final ingredient we're going to need is 200 grams of rice and I'm just using a basmati rice here. So it's 200 grams weighed out dry, okay? Not cooked. Before you do anything else, now make sure you wash your hands. Don't be a melt. Bacteria. Clean yourselves. Now just get your pan on a medium high heat and you're going to add that tablespoon of olive oil and then we're going to let that heat up a little. So first of all we want to add our carrots, some celery, our onion, and our garlic. So just about close with it. Now you just want to let that saute in the pan for about five minutes and while that's going on we're going to prep our stock and cut our meat up. Just want to add our beef into the slow cooker and return the pan back to the heat ready for the meat to go in. Now we're just going to add the turkey bacon into the pan and cook for two minutes. Now we just want to add the turkey and bacon into the slow cooker. Make sure we get all that goodness in there. If it wants to come out, boom. Now time for the rest of the ingredients. Before you go any further, I just want to give it a mixed up because you do want to make sure that rice is in the stock. So just give it a quick mix. And now it's time just to put the lid on and we're going to leave it on low. Leave it on low for four hours. It's been on for about um, two hours now and most of the liquid has dried up. So I'm just going to add another cupful of water just to give it a little more juice and it's done finally let's check it out boom look at that absolutely delicious smells amazing it's gonna taste even better let's get it all prepped and let's get it sorted there we go and we got it all dished out nice even portions ready for lunch for the week 
So look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. Smells delicious, tastes delicious. You've got to try this recipe out. And now what we need to do is go over the macros. You've seen how beautiful it looks. Now it's time for the important part, the macro breakdown. And you got to see these numbers. They're absolutely amazing. They should be below me right now. So you got 393 calories per serving. You got 54 grams of protein in that. And that's along with 12 grams of fat and 22 grams of carbs. Now that's absolutely amazing. So you can keep these in the fridge for as long as you want, um, within reason. There's four portions there, so four days, that should make sense. If not, freeze them for a later time if you're making a bigger batch. You know what to do. Give this a thumbs up. It was an awesome video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next week.